I guess the first question is, how do you com take this book, mm -hmm. condense it, and put it on into film? And this, this is a massive world you created. Yeah. Well, how did you do? <laughs> I, I had a lot. I had a lot of help. <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> I had can't a lot of help from three people in particular: Peter Jackson, Fran Walsh, and Philippa Boyne. So they're they they're they're, they're 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 used to taking you know books and 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 putting them on screen and, and creating new worlds. Um, Look, I mean, it was a pro it, was a, it was sort of a you look. It's like everything; it's a process. I mean, I you know, they were writing the script, so I you know, when they were um, doing revisions on the script, I was just you know, so that that that's actually the story. Yeah. Um, I I sort of you know, we had to get going real fast when they P Peter asked me to direct it, and then within five months we were shooting. Wow. So. They were writing the script, and then I just started working with a team of artists. You know, we had a great team of production, um, you know, illustrators, um, some concept artists. Some of them used to be at Weta Workshop, and you know, and we, we, we got them on board to come and um, help us out. One of them, uh, you know, one of them, one of the one of them, Nick Keller, was like the backbone of the you know a lot of the design in the film because he's an amazing concept artist, brilliant painter, but he's also has a degree in engineering, so, so which is was a perfect blend. For this film, because we needed to create, you know, these cities, and make them feel feel real, make them feel believable, and that was the toughest thing from a you know from from a visual standpoint, um, as well as designing a new universe. Like we did, we didn't want it to be steampunk, mm -hmm. you know, um, you know, we didn't want it to be too too apocalyptic like dystopian, um, but it also needed to feel ancient, and it had to feel kind of you know these cities need to feel like places you'd want to go and live and, and visit. Yeah, it feels like some, there's bits and pieces of all these kind of pop culture. You have Despicable Me in there. You have yeah. a, a, that must have been kind of fun to play with as an artist as well. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and and look, that, that's actually uh, you know that, that's a that little nod to pop culture is is there in the books, but it's it's like some Disney characters, and there's you know it would have cost us half our budget to <laughs> to, to get the rights to them. So so Universal were fantastic in letting us use the minions. Um, but I mean, that sort of says something more about you know. You know, our, you know, we have so much pop culture in our, you know, earth, you know, in our, in our sort of, you know, lives these days that that if archaeologists would look back and find these things, they might think they were of some kind of, I don't know, religious sort of significant <laughs> importance. So, it's 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 you know, that, it, it, it is, it's fun, and it's also fun like with the toaster. It's like you know, we f you know we find like a a Greek urn that's sort of in perfect condition. We're like, whoa, this is wow, it's an amazing archaeological find, and to them it would have just been an everyday item. And so we sort of just, you know, had a bit of fun with, you know, the old, the old small appliances. You talk about the, so so much go work goes into actually making the 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 look of the film. How much before you cast, or does that kind of come hand in hand when you start casting it? Uh, it it's hand in hand. It did two different processes. You know, the ca the casting of the film is its own process. Just finding the right actors for the role and the design of the film is very much. You know that, that that that's very much independent of that. But we were very, you know, we knew from the get-go that we wanted to create something completely new. And and part of the, part of the illusion of that is actually finding fresh faces. It's finding a cast that uh, you know aren't you know aren't instantly recognisable as, as as other characters in other universes. So you hope that's going to happen, and we were very lucky that it did. From the filmmakers of the Lord of the Rings comes a groundbreaking new saga. After the war, resources ran out. Cities were put on wheels. Earth became a hunting ground. We have to stop London before it destroys us. You want to die? I'm going to live. Do it! Mortal Engines in Cinemas December 8.